What's up guys, it's been a little bit since I put some content out and I thought it would be cool to share with you a mail day that I actually just had yesterday. Was it yesterday? Maybe two days ago. Um, this piece is something I'm super pumped about. It's not going anywhere. It's not for sale. You're not gonna see it for sale. And I hesitated at first to even share this because... Um, hold up, hold up, hold up. I believe I found something that um, people just don't understand or realize what it is. And because I didn't understand or realize what this thing was. In fact, I bought it and then I started doing the research and I was like, oh, shout, this is actually really cool. What did you say? What, what, what did you, what did you say? So I won this recently in an auction. You can see. Now I've seen these things off and on, but I never gave a lot of attention to them. This is a 1947 Brooklyn Dodgers picture pack, um, obviously of Jackie Robinson. I've been on a huge Jackie Robinson collecting uh, kind of uh, just focus. Um, these are cards that I'm planning to lock away for a long time. Obviously, I always say, you know, you don't know what the future holds, but my intention is to complete my Jackie Robinson collection, lock it away, and then move on to other stuff. Because obviously I love a lot of other things too, um, but Jackie is so near to my heart. He is, uh, he's what brought me back into the hobby back in 2011. Uh, but I want to talk briefly about these picture packs. Um, if you're familiar with the older Bond Bread cards, you would know that this is an image that they used. So in researching, I find out that these actually predated the Bond Bread cards and the Bond Bread cards actually used the, um, the picture packs. Now this is what amazes me, okay? So, uh, you know, in the last year or so, you've seen the rise of graded tickets and I'm not a ticket guy. I understand the appeal of it. I've got good buddies that love tickets. I understand it. Um, it's just not something that I'm super passionate about, but what I love, I do love about tickets is that they were at the stadium. They were at the games, uh, when a player debuted or a player had a huge groundbreaking moment, whatever the case may be. That's why I fell in love with these 1947 picture packs. So 47 was the year that Jackie broke the color barrier. What's amazing to me is the only place that you could find these Dodgers picture packs were at Ebbets Field. So this literally was in the stadium when Jackie and the Brooklyn Dodgers were playing games the year he broke the color barrier. So um, the image is just so sick. As you've seen in the hobby, um, graded photos have really kind of taken off in the past couple years. This is to me kind of the best of both worlds. This was released at these what they call souvenir stands in uh, Ebbets Field. So a kid, a, a really anybody, but they could go up and um, they bought the entire packs. Now, uh, my understanding is that they weren't sold individually, they were sold in a team set. So you went and you bought uh, the whole pack of the, the Brooklyn Dodgers, but you could only get them if you went to a game. And to me, when we talk about game used, we talk about tickets being at games, there's something amazing to me um, thinking about Jackie Robinson, the year he broke the color barrier, everything that he's going through, and this piece of history was there with him. And, uh, and it's just an awesome photo. It's a big slab, um, but uh, looks cool in the SGC. But I just never knew that about these picture packs. I, I, I just, I thought that they were, you know, like anything else, it was a photo taken or whatever. Um, but I didn't know that you actually had to go to the stadium to one of these souvenir stands to pick them up. And to me, that takes these to a whole nother level, let alone it's time dated. Obviously when I collect cards, I want cards that were released uh, when that player was playing. Those are my favorite, um, but 47, this predates what we know as his rookie card. Uh, you'll see it behind me. I, I love the 48, 49 leaf. Um, but this predates that. And uh, 
I just think, man, the history is incredible. And um, the fact that this piece of memorabilia went someplace that I could never go, but I'd love to go there in my mind. And man, if I could have a time machine and go and see Jackie, um, would be absolutely incredible. But I wanted to share that with you guys. These picture packs are so cool. Um, I hope I don't have much of an impact on the market. I don't think I do, but um, you know, you always hesitate when you find something, you're like, man, maybe I want more of those. Uh, but I'm happy with what I've, I've got. Uh, if the prices go up, and I doubt they will uh, because of me, um, so be it. But <laughs> these are awesome, man. This has got a tiny little pinhole in it, which I don't care at all. Um, but that's what why it got the 1.5. And these are blank backs. It's like a photo. Um, obviously, it is a photo. But what's different between this and a Type 1, and obviously Type 1s are awesome, very rare. This was at the game with Jackie. That year he broke the color barrier. And to me, that's that's really, really cool. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. I love it. Um, be inspired to keep collecting. We'll talk to you guys later.